By watching this video, you hereby agree to hold the opinion that third-party tools should not be necessary for basic functionality in early access games. This agreement is protected by international law. Violators will be prosecuted. Anyway, I made this third-party tool called the Buggy Exchanger. The purpose of this is to be able to add and remove buggies from your save files so that you can run only the ones that you want to on your tracks and the rest of them are not sitting there causing lag. So say you have, you know, a hundred different things on the on the map, you can delete a bunch of them and then later you can add them back in without having to like cheat your money and all that stuff. So you can just use this, it'll combine from two save files and that sort of thing. So if you have a save with a whole bunch of stuff in it and you want to remove some of them, what you can do is you open your save. Now you can either use this with the dialogue or you can just drag and drop onto it. There we go. And so you can do whichever save. We'll do the one with all of our rolling stock on it. As you see here, it's got a ton of rolling stock on it. And so right now, none of them are selected. So if you were to click the remove button right now, it would remove all of them because none of them are selected. So to select ones, what you'd want to do is like, say we're going to run just the logging camp and we want to keep these, but we want to get rid of the rest of them. So you can click on the individual cars that you want to save on the map. Or what you can do is you can hold down shift and drag out. There you go. And you can drag out a, a rectangle to select. Now what you can also do is you can right click while you're holding shift and you can drag out a rectangle to deselect. So you can deselect a bunch of stuff too. And as you see here, these are the ones that are checked. Those are gonna be in your save. So if you click on this, it will create a new one and whichever one of these slots that you have selected, you can also select a new file name and write in your own. But we're gonna go to, we're gonna write to slot seven and if you select one of these, those are already existing files. So just for your information. So if we do that, it'll save to slot seven. And we now have a, a file in slot seven. If we load this one up, as you see here, it's just got this. Pretty cool. Now let's say you finished your game and you want to add in all of your stuff back again. So the one that you want as your base is the one you just played. The one you just saved is the one where you're going to use as your map file because that includes not just the buggies, but it includes all of your industries and all that stuff and your player with your XP and your money and, and everything like that. And then you're going to use the rolling stock. Let's real quick here. As you see here, when you add this in, the yellow ones are the ones that are all they're they're going to be added in so the these are the ones that are optional some of them can be added in only ones that are checked are going to be added in so as you see now it shows all of them on the map you have some duplicates here you don't want to add this one back in and duplicate it well maybe you do maybe you want to cheat or whatever but yeah you don't want to duplicate it then you deselect these so you select everything control a and then you can deselect these shift and right click and drag out a rectangle. So there you go. Now you've got all of these, as you see, these ones are deselected, everything else is selected. And then you would do add buggies. And let's say we're gonna save that in slot eight and we go add buggies. It's gonna now create a new save in slot eight. And if we go and we load that one up, open buggy file, as you see here, it shows all of the, all of the uh, ones in here. So including that. But anyway, that's how this works. If you uh, have any problems with it, too bad. <laughs> or leave a comment and I'll see if I can fix things if I do end up with bugs. But yeah, if this should help with the uh, the lag on the where you're driving trains and you get a lot of lag. So yeah, this should help you remove those and then put them back in. But I'm going to probably see if I can get some uh, track mapper out on here too. But anyway, that's going to be it for this time, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Later.